welcome to our brand new show, What's Up With, where we give you guys the latest scoop on your favorite celebs, movies, TV shows, you name it. And of course, we're kicking things off with one of our favorite celebs out there. This is What's Up With, Selena Gomez. Mm -hmm. That's right, guys. <laughs> Between her new album, a world tour, award nominations, charity works, magazine covers, and nail polish line, the list goes on and on. So good for her. Yeah, so we're going to kick off What's Up With with what's coming up next for the singer. As we already know, SG is currently on the Stars Dance Tour. Right now she's enjoying the mm -hmm. USA part of the tour, joined by Emblem 3 and Christina Grimmie. Loved all those guys. Me too. Up next, Selena will be traveling a casual 5,000 plus miles to close out the tour in Japan. No big deal. <laughs> and with her international fan base, it's not really surprising that SG is up for Best Female Artist at this year's MTV European Music Go Awards, girl. also known as the EMAs. Yes. The show takes place on November 13th, and she is up against some major girl power, including one of her besties, Taylor Swift, mm -hmm. Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry, and Lady Gaga. And there's still a chance to cast your vote for the EMAs on a side note. Yeah, so go do it. And then back in the States, the 21-year-old, who is also a very active philanthropist, she just announced that she's going to be performing during the halftime show of this Thanksgiving's Dallas Cowboys game against the Oakland Raiders. Gotta love Woo. a little Thanksgiving football. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this is not just any performance. She's going to be taking the stage in her hometown to raise money for the 17th year the Salvation Army and the Cowboys have teamed up for the Red Kettle campaign. Awesome. Very and cool. About her involvement, Selena actually explained this. She said, quote, I'm from Texas, so I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm very honored and I hope that we come, me, my dancers, and my band, and we give Texas a really good show and I make them proud. I'm sure she will. Yeah. And we are so excited to see Selena take the stage during the halftime show. And we definitely could not have picked a better suited celeb for this awesome cause. Totally. But music isn't the only thing that's been keeping this <laughs> girl busy as of late. Uh, did you guys know that Selena has her very own nail polish collection with Nicole by OPI? If you didn't get the memo, you're getting it now. Now you got <laughs> it. I mean, after all, SG is pretty much the whole package. She's gorgeous. Yes. Let's just say it. She's talented. Yes. Hilarious. Yes. And of course, incredibly stylish. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I guess it makes sense that she would come out with a nail polish. But this isn't just one or two colors. Mm -mm. It's an entire line. Yes, from light pink to gold sparkles, the Selena inspired Nicole by OPI collection offers a whopping 14 colors. Amazing. Count them. So I chose this really pretty purple color called Love Song, um, but I really love a bunch of the colors. Mm -hmm. There's this really awesome yellow shade that's really bold called Hit the Lights, and then Pretty and Plum is love amazing. It. And I feel like anything plum or like deep red is perfect, perfect, perfect for winter time. So it's great for the holidays. I could not agree more. And the Nicole by OPI nail polish names for the Selena line are super cute. They totally make sense. Like a really medium pink color that's called Naturally. Which Naturally. We all know is yes. one of her song titles. And right now, I'm wearing a color that's very appropriately called Selena. Ooh. And right on top of that color, I have another one called Inner Sparkle. Very pretty. Um, I feel like anything sparkly is great for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Holiday party or New Year's or wear it year round if you want to. Glitter celebration. Yeah. Love it. Well, and this line has so many different colored sparkles, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like there's something for everyone. So true. And if you guys want to get your hands on some of these polishes, they're available at pretty much any retailer now. And you can check out more info on Selena's exclusive Nicole by OPI collection by clicking the link below. Okay, so last but not least in today's What's Up With, we know you guys want an update on SG's personal life. And Obviously. let me start Hello. off by saying that one of our favorite things about Selena is how honest she is with her fans and the world. She's gracing the cover of Teen Vogue magazine's December-January issue, and in addition to an absolutely gorgeous photo shoot. Love it. Uh-huh. Selena also opens up about coping with her very public breakup with Justin Bieber, explaining, quote, a part of you wants to have that rebellious feeling where you're just like, forget it, I can do anything I want, I've tried it, I've never been that girl, I'm always going to be the girl you want to take home to your parents, not for the night. Ooh, Love it. Ooh, yeah. Now, a lot of celebrities obviously kind of stray away from being the role model mm -hmm. figure. Um, for their fans, but we love that Selena totally embraces the influence she has on other people's lives. In fact, in a recent concert on the Stars Dance Tour, she took a moment to show her gratitude for her fans and for their parents, actually saying this, you trust me, 
parents trust me and I get that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Every single day I get told I need to do this and I need to be sexy and I need to be cool. The truth is we just need to be who we are. Word to that, Selena. Double word. Double word. <laughs> Obviously we couldn't agree more with Selena. We just love you guys and we want you to be who you are. Do and it. that's it for What's Up with Selena Gomez. Yeah, you guys, be sure to leave us a comment below and let us know which celebrity, movie, TV show, or something that you love that you want to know more about next time on What's Up With. Mm -hmm. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys.